Our vehicle is a rubber band powered car. The materials we use to make our vehicle are one thick rubber band, two CDs, one 1.5 liter empty plastic water bottle, two loose screwers, nine bottle caps, one shoe box, small box, one wine cork, glue gun, tape, tissue roll, and two tubes. Newton's first law is called the law of inertia. The source for the first law in our car is the elastic rubber band. Our vehicle uses the elasticity as our power source. As we wind up the rubber band, it stores potential energy and changes to kinetic energy as we release it. Kinetic energy is the force that moves the car. The second law is a formula. Mass times acceleration equals the force. As mass increases, acceleration decreases. And as force increases, acceleration increases. This means that the more mass an object has, the more force it needs to accelerate. We use a plastic bottle for the body to decrease the mass since the rubber band couldn't hold a lot of energy. Is action and reaction. The action is the wheels turning from the kinetic energy. The reaction is the equal and opposite force from the floor. If the floor is not pushing the car with an equal and opposite force, the car will just fall into the ground. But since the floor is pushing the car with an equal opposite force, it will allow the car to move. There are a few forces that slow down our vehicle. The forces are rolling resistance, gravity, and air resistance. Rolling resistance is the friction between the wheel and the floor, wheel and axle. Gravity pulls the car down between onto the floor. Air resistance slows the car down because the air has lots of matter in it. These three forces slow our car down and it eventually.